Hi to all. This is my third class of visualizing solid shapes. Today I am going to discuss visualizing solid objects, view, viewing different sections of a solid. Visualizing solid objects is a very useful skill. You can able to see the hidden objects. Let us see. Here are some cubes. Can you guess how many cubes are there in total? Do find it out. You see here many cubes are not at all seen. Still you can find out total number of cubes. What is your answer? Let us see how to find it out. Here, in the bottom, how many cubes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cubes are arranged in, in the bottom. And here on the top, 2. 8 plus 2, 10 is the answer. So, in different way, if you arrange, then you can find out the total number of cubes. Just look at the question. Here, three figures, three figures are given, arranged some cubes. You have to find out the number of cubes in total. In the first figure, how many cubes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. 12 cubes are in the bottom and 12 cubes are in the top. So you will get 24 cubes. Similarly, do find out second and third. Here you have another question. If two cubes of dimensions 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm are placed side by side, what would, what would be the dimensions of the resulting cuboid? Here 2 cm by 2 cm by 2 cm means length is 2, breadth is 2 and height also 2. Now what you have to do is find the dimensions of a result in cuboid. Let us see. Here two cubes join together and it has 2 cm length, 2 cm breadth and 2 cm height. Now what is the length of the resulting cuboid? If two cubes join together, you will get a cuboid. Now what is its length? 2 plus 2. That is 4 is the length. And what will be the breadth? Breadth will be same. And the height? Height also 2. So length is equal to 4. Breadth is equal to 2. And height also equal to 2. You will get it. So you can write length is equal to 2 plus 2, 4 cm, breadth is equal to 2 cm and height is equal to 2 cm. Here you have another two questions. Two dice are placed side by side as shown. Can you say that the total would be on the face opposite to 5 plus 6? Here the sum of the numbers on opposite faces you know it is it will be 7. If it is 5, the opposite side will be 2. If it is 6, the opposite side will be 1. So 5 plus 6 means the opposite side will be 2 plus 1. So you will get total of 3. 
to find out the next one. The second question is as in the last question. Three cubes in each two centimeter are placed by side by side to form a cuboid. In the last question, we place two cubes. Here you have three cubes. Try to make an oblique sketch and say what could be its length, breadth, and height. Draw that figure and find it find its length, breadth, and height. Do yourself. The next session is viewing different sections of a solid. Here in, in this chapter we are discussing three ways to view an object. The first method is to view an object is by cutting or slicing. Any object you can cut or slice in two ways. One is vertical, another is horizontal. Let us see. Here you have a cuboid. Now let me cut it horizontally. When I cut horizontally, you will get two pieces. Now what will be the face of each piece? Now see here this face will be a square. This face we can call it as cross section. So when a cuboid is cut horizontally, the cross section is a square. Now, if you cut a cuboid vertically, what will be the cross section? Let us see. Here, if you cut vertically, the cross section also will be the shape of a rectangle. So, for a cuboid, the horizontal cut cross section either it can be square or a rectangle and a vertical cut then also the cross section will be a rectangle. Now let us look, at, look for another figure. Here you have a cone and a vertical cut is there. Now what will be the cross section when a cone is cut vertically. You will get here you can see it will be a triangle. The cross section will be a triangle. Now let me cut horizontally. Here I cut this cone horizontally. Now what will be the cross section? Let us check it. Here, the cross section, you will get it as a circle. So, horizontal cross section of a cone is a circle. Vertical cross section of a cone is a triangle. Now, let us see some questions. Here, you have exercise 15.3. What cross section do you get? when you give a vertical cut and second horizontal cut to the following solids. Here a solid is brick. Brick, the vertical cut, it will be a square or a rectangle it can be and horizontal cut, obviously it is a rectangle. A round apple, apple is in the form of a sphere, a round apple. So, vertical and horizontal cut be a circle. Similarly, do other questions. 
another way of visualizing a solid shape is by shadow play shadow play is you keep a torch light just in front of a cone and focus on the wall what figure you will get here you can see the shadow will be in the form of a triangle now if you keep a sphere here then obviously it will be a circle and so on. let us look some examples exercise questions exercise 15.4 a bulb is kept burning just right above the following solids here is a ball a cylindrical pipe and then notebook name the shape of the shadow obtained in each case attempt to give a rough sketch of the shadow you write the name of the shadow here you will get a circle and draw a circle similarly find out what will be what will be the shadow of a cylindrical pipe when the bulb is kept on the top of that pipe just above the pipe and a notebook do it in question number 2 the shadows of some 3d objects when seen under the lamp of a nova head projector here it is given these are all the shadows then identify the solid that matches each shadow you can get suppose a circle it will be a shadow of a sphere and if you keep a cylinder horizontally then also you will get a circle similarly a square it can be a cube or a rectangle if you keep horizontally you will get it similarly triangle and a rectangle multiply and circle also you can write here is the third question examine if the following are true statements true or false you have to write the cube can cast a shadow in the shape of a rectangle do check it make a cube put a light on back top or side will you get a rectangle or not do check it similarly the cube can be can a shadow in the shape of a hexagon hexagon is is a polygon of side 6 you do check it whether you can get it or not the third and the last way of observing as 3d shape is an object is looking at at it, at it from certain angles to get different views so from different angles you can look a object then you will get a different shapes let us check it here some cubes are arranged in an order in three way you can see this cubes that means every object having three types of views that are first let us see what will be the front view of this cube balls this cubes here you can see it certainly if you go in front and see this will be is front view so in front view only 1 2 3 4 5 cubes only it will be visible now let us look at the side view side in this side this will be the side view here also 1 2 3 4 5 cubes in a different way you can see now 
let us see the top view. From the top, here, this will be the top view. Here you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 squares you can see. Even 7 faces. So these are the main 3 views. One is, this is friend view. Then, sorry, this will be the friend view. You can get it as side view and last top view. Now let us have some questions. Here for each solid the three views 1, 2 and 3 are given. Identify for each solid the corresponding top, front and side views. That means this is the figure. You have to say which view it is. This one, of course, it will be the front view. Second one, it will be the side view. And third one, again, it is just like a front view. It is the top view. So, here you have to write which view is given here. That you, here you have to write front, side, and top. Here same way you check which view this will be. This will be the top view. Find out other two. Now draw view of each solid as seen from the direction indicated by the arrow. For this shape you have to draw the side view. From here top view here also side view. The view what from here, not from top. Again, all side views are there. You have to draw the corresponding figure. That is all for today's class. So this chapter also finished. Do complete all the works. Have a nice day.